right, Nezha's in trouble. Uh, he should be dead, let's go for best that she just jumped. Nothing he can do about it. Bye, Wolfie. Rato, what are you doing? Hold this. What is up, beautiful people? It's Saladin here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing uh, Samukong Made in Conquest, accompanied here by Naja, against what looks like a Morrigan Ratatoskar combo, maybe Merlin. Uh, looks like we're playing against Wolfie. Let's say hi to the man. Uh, it looks like a Wolfie with a five man pre made. I don't know how this is gonna work, but it should be fun. Yeah, some will call mid. It works. It uh, works so, it's so good that it really is surprising, I would say. We're gonna be a huge bully and uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Oh, looks like it's Wolfie in the mid on the best dead of all things. I don't think that's the play. I don't think he's gonna get out of this alive. He's already half HP poked out. Tried to hit him as well, but didn't quite work out. Looks like he have a potion popped, so he's healing quite a bit. Gonna go for the smalls here. He's face tanking the minions, which is not a good idea. Still level one. Got a stun. I missed my tiger, which is unfortunate, but I think he's dead. He's trying to juke my one here. Hold this. Let's go, Jeff. Going straight for the red buff here. Looks like Ratatoskar is... Oh my god, my man. What are you doing? Oh, that's a good bling. Hold this. And Ratatoskar is gone again. And we're to... Oh, in one and a half minutes. Let's grab these as well. They're really easy to put down. And give a significant amount of XP. Even though the dual lane is available, I don't think I'm gonna gank. I just wanna secure my red over here. Enemy missing metal. Spending most of my mana to clear it as fast as possible, trying not to miss anything in the middle lane. Best head is about to hit level 3. And we haven't missed a single minion. That's perfect. I think I'm gonna sacrifice my HP here to just save this gold. Oh, <laughs> missed the right ones. Enemy missing metal. Take this jungle buff. Trying to juke his three here. That didn't work out. The interesting part about the uh, Bastic Cats is that they are CC not immune. Oh, that would have been a, a good gank, but... Alright, Neja is in trouble. Uh, he should be dead. Let's go for the Bastet. She just jumped. Nothing he can do about it. Bye, Wolfie. Rato, what are you doing? Hold this. And we're gonna back for full tier transcendence. I know uh, some of you might cringe here uh, because I picked up full tier transcendence instead of boots, but the good thing about Samukon is his insane mobility. So we don't suffer from lack of boots at all in the early game. And now with the full transcendence, we actually deal a lot of damage. I almost insta clear with two abilities that cost a little over 100 mana. Oh, hello, Wolfie. That was not the plan. I didn't want to get the bird. I should ult here. I might die. Oh, Ratatoskar came in. I was not really expecting him. I was expecting him in the left jungle. They got a bunch of return kills on us, which is unfortunate, but it's fine. We're still ahead overall, even though by not a very significant amount. Ratatoskar seemed to be ganking right. But I'm pretty sure he has no ultimate, so he was also oom. Nothing he can get out of it. He forced some pressure on the dual lane, that's about all he did. 
I'm surprised that Morrigan is in solo lane actually, and Bastet is in mid of all things. Let's grab those. Juke that one. Okay, yeah, he ulted him, so he won't be able to jump back. We stun her immediately after, she's dead. Raptaster coming in, we ulting. Oh, if that hit, he might have died. That health spooked me a little bit, to be honest. I'm gonna clear this wave. Bastet is coming back very soon, but... She's gonna miss a bunch of that gold. And looks like Ymir got soloed by Morrigan. I mean... Okay. He ulted into Bastet of all things, huh? We maintain control over the enemy red buff, which is nice. And as you see, the lack of boots is not a problem. Never mind. <laughs> I'm, I'm in danger. danger. Looks like he okay. lacked that big dick energy to engage on me. A couple more stacks and we will be able to insta-clear with our one, which is nice. Showed him that and I'm backing, he didn't okay. engage or pressure me. I'm the We're just gonna grab this red buff and back for the full tier boots. Help. Oh, they're coming in. This might be dangerous. Enemies in the jungle. Let's see. Good stuff. Good Thanks stuff. for helping me clear this. And as you can see, my three, I just disengaged so far, unless Ratatosker ults me straight up. Health's in trouble, we need to help. Oh, he will get out. Alright. I really wanted to hit him with that. He cleared those quite instantly. Yeah, the full clear with the one, the back line is going down, and then you couple hits on the front line, and it's over. That's very satisfying. Let's poke him out. Welcome to the lane. Nope, never mind. I suck. Looks like Ymir is going down again. Maybe not. Oh my god, farm, Can we kill this man? Nah, he still has his dash. But we can't bully him into not backing. Or if he keeps staying like that, I'm just gonna straight up murder the man. Not sure what was the plan. He still had his ult. Even though they were ganking Ymir, who can barely walk. He decided not to slow him down with the ult and die trying to ult me instead. Let's catch Wolfie on the go. Poke him out a little bit. Ratatosker is stuck. We're gonna stun him on the landing. Morrigan tried to be annoying a little bit. Oh, hello, Wolfie. We're gonna ult immediately. He's ulting. Wait for him to jump back. Oh, he managed to juke that, but that wasn't like hard. He's dead. <laughs> I don't know what was the plan here. Oh, I might die to minions. <laughs> That's funny. You see, Ganesh, this would be a good time to ult me inside the jungle. He would have killed me. I had no HP. Gonna grab these camps on our way back to the lane. Let's go, baby. This is something you should always do in the middle lane if you see that the minions are not soon to clash. Because contested XP, you need control over that. Put up a ward over there. These are up, so we will see someone there very soon. My two almost clears the backline, which is nice. Land the stun. Okay, we're in trouble. Good Aegis, we're gonna get out of here. That's three people, I'm probably dead. Not a whole lot I can do about that with my old being down. 
Naja just sashed the red Tusker that has no beats and uh, he decided not to ult him because apparently he doesn't like kills. Poggers. Oh, looks like Naja is dead okay, again. Not a whole lot I can do about that. I'm also in danger. Have to ult out. We'll just heal up as much as we can. That guy is literally a bot. That's a lot of cats. Retreat, retreat, retreat. He tried to bait my stun. We didn't take the bait. Gonna stun here. Looks like rats going for our buff, which is not gonna be the case. He got caught by AMC. Pretty simple stuff. Bastet is trying to pressure hell in mid, which is very unfortunate idea by Wolfie over here. Hmm, that didn't reach. It felt like it could have reached. Oh, with that. We're still missing no minions over that because he's pushing like a madman. Looks like left miss are up. I'm gonna grab those. The red buff control over the enemy. Naja's there, he stole the buff, but I feel like he might be in trouble. A bit of poke on the Ganesh. A lot of poke on the Ganesh, actually. Let's stun somebody. Nope, not even close. I need to ult out immediately. They can burst me down. I have no defense whatsoever. We're zoning. Just with our ult damage, we're able to zone like that. Oh, that's an Aegis. Let's see, we can do that and still survive, I think. Yes. Jeffrey, Nobody decided to chase me down. Nobody commit enough. Never mind. He has a blink for some reason that I did not anticipate. Oh, Ymir. My that man. Literally a bot. Good yeah, stuff. Neja was actually paying attention, so that's good. We got Morrigan and Bassett for that. Trading a support in mid for a mid and solo. I think it's worth it. Going for Heart Seeker here. I'm just looking for the high damage, high power build. Probably not even gonna build defense this game. Just gonna smack with my ultimate and my one. Since we have four damaging abilities, Heartseeker is insanely good item for us. Oh, looks like more Merlin's here, but we're gonna grab this red buff before we apply pressure there. Might as well pick it up. Wasn't able to locate her, unfortunately. We're stacking up our uh, life steal. As soon as we are gonna be able to life steal off of our abilities that deal a lot of damage, it's gonna be so much more fun. Let's see if Merlin's out of position. Looks like nobody's around. We should take the gold here. That's that died. Looking for an ult on Ratatoskar. He's gonna ult out. So let's force it. Be right back. Be careful. Gold Fury is actually still available. This man's not paying it. Oh, Ganesh Silence was on point here. I'm dead. Here's an encore. 
Good secure by hell. We got the cold fury at last. Okay. Amazing. Hey there. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. They're finally dead. Took long enough. Let's join the fight here. Neja got soloed by Bastet. That just shows how much damage she can actually do. Just noticed that Hell is pretty low level, but considering their Ganesh is level 11, that's like apparently okay. We're able to poke at a distance, so we're gonna maintain that. Oh, my two damage wasn't enough. Let's kill a bunch of people here. Ratatosk rolled me. He should be dead here. He's way too low. Okay, he died to the honey and to the bees. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this red real quick. Looks like my team is fighting left. Wolfie died again. Your team has destroyed us. And we're gonna pressure out this mid tower because it's time. We have our heart seeker. We deal a lot of damage now. Be careful of mana. I'm gonna take this ward as soon as I drop this red buff. Red buff is more important than a ward. But still, the sentry ward worth taking out. Wait, since when do we deal damage to the ward? I actually saw damage numbers. That wasn't a thing back then. Looks like they screwed something over again. Oh, this is up. Can we grab it? Nah, he took it. I'm totally safe here. Let's see what they do. Do I want to go in? Of course I want to go in. Hold all of that damage. And we just get out. Right, the Tusker is poked out to the point where he has to back. And I lost nothing to it. Looks like there's a big fight. Best that just jumped. We're gonna try and stun. My two didn't land any damage for some reason. I don't know why. But that's not optimal. Looks like we're gonna... He's gonna jump back, so we're just gonna wait over here. Has been slain. And shebang. That's dubs, baby. Poggers. Fire giant. On my way. We can easily take fire over here. Okay. Okay. Your right tower has been destroyed. Looks like Merlin has already backed. Since Ratatosker just spawned and Merlin was in right lane, there's no reason for me to be present at the Fire Giant and secure. Might as well do something more useful. Later. We now have uh, over 400 power and we deal insane damage while life stealing insane amounts. So that works out pretty well for us. Gonna apply pressure on the right lane. Uh, going for the right phoenix is the best idea you can get with the fire giant because it's the further one from the fire giant which if you secure the right phoenix you secure the next fire giant fight basically because somebody has to defend on their team and be as far away from the fire giant as possible so we're looking for the pressure on the right lane Meanwhile, the Ani waves are gonna push up all their phoenixes. There's a fight in mid, we're gonna join that. We're gonna hold on to our dash, because I'm looking for a stun here. Oh, that's a lot okay, of damage. Am I dead? My are cold. Okay, that was a great shell by hell. Or was it in here? I'm not really sure, but we get Morrigan for it, and we're probably gonna survive. Rat the Tosker is trying to dash me as hard as he can, but that's too late. That guy is literally a bot. The whole team is secure. We have Ani waves pushing. We have hell for sustain. We're coming back. Would be nice if they let me attack this wave. I would have been probably full HP. And looks like Wolfie 
with a five man primpeed is trolling and AFK farming in the right lane while we taking the Titan. What a great player. Nothing bad about AFK and trolling in the dual lane while your Titan is going down when you brought five people with you. That's interesting. <laughs> so yeah, so we'll go mid. We go for Transcendence, we're sitting at uh, 457 power. We go for Teleria for movement speed, Life Steal for sustain, Heart Seeker for insane damage, and Iron Dive for additional damage. And cooldown off of our ultimate. We're sitting on 40% CDR with the pod that will replace the Major's Blessing. We're still gonna be full. 16 kills participation out of 34, which is almost a half. Totally fine with me. And Wolfie Bastet in mid didn't really work. So our damage is 19k to 17k. We out damage him a little bit, but we were a lot more present. Our ADC almost twice the damage of the enemy ADC. Our Naja almost twice the damage of the enemy jungle. And our solo lane is actually out damaged. Our support did a little bit more damage, which is not significant. And that'll be the Samukong game in mid. A little bit off meta, but very effective in my opinion. And as always, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you want to ask me a question, leave a comment, leave a like if you like the video. And as always, have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video.